The Monkey's Tales. Several summers ago, some friends came to visit us from out of state, and we wanted to take them to a nice place for dinner. Some place kind of unusual, not like a chain restaurant they could just go to back home. So I'd heard about this old converted barn that had been turned into a, a, a restaurant west of town in the country, and I thought, that sounds kind of fun, let's try that. So we drive out there, big old barn, um, walked inside, exposed beans, just kind of really neat setting, a huge place. We were seated, and uh, our friends said, this is kind of a cool place. And uh, I looked around, and the most unusual thing was on this one beam, there were three monkeys. And one of the monkeys had this silver ring on the end of its tail. And as we watched, the monkeys would pass the ring from tail to tail, back and forth. I thought, huh, that's kind of interesting. And as we were watching, the owner of the restaurant was walking around, and I guess he saw me looking at the monkeys, and he stopped over and he said, they're not for sale. And I said, excuse me? And he said, well, I saw you admiring my monkeys, I just want to let you know they're not for sale. And I'm thinking, well, it wasn't like I was thinking about buying them. And but anyway, as I sat there eating dinner, I thought, you know, it would be pretty cool to have these monkeys in the back of the classroom. Uh, kind of like watching fish in an aquarium is relaxing. I thought I could have on one of the back cabinets in our in our classroom three monkeys sitting there passing the ring back and forth from tail to tail. And as students were doing their work and, and listening to lecture, they could look back there and be just kind of relaxing and calming. So I'm not really proud of what I did, but I did it for my students, not for myself. And what I ended up doing is I. I cut off the tail of the monkeys. I had to cut the tails off the monkeys because I already knew that the owner was not going to sell me the monkeys. So here we have just the tails. But the amazing thing is the monkeys can still pass the ring back and forth from tail to tail. Right now the monkey on the right, your right, has the ring. They're used to a little darkness from the barn, so give them a little privacy, and now we've switched to the monkey on your left has the ring. Now it's the monkey in the middle. So even though they're no longer attached to the monkey, they can still pass the ring back and forth in the corner. There is no separate set of monkeys in the bag. That's it. So here's your job with this bonus assignment, The Monkey's Tales. First, let me uh, comfort you in that knowing you don't have to use real monkey's tails like I did. You could use string or uh, you know, a, a little bracelet, anything you want to make it look like monkey's tails. You need to have a set of monkey's tails that you can show the class um, that they start on one tail and you can put it behind a demonstration table or in a bag or something and you need to show that you can switch the ring from one tail to the next to the next. All three monkeys' tails must be able to have the ring. Alright, have fun and good luck.